in a game where you feel like the other team probably played well enough to earn one themselves. Yeah, yeah we, we feel fortunate, really. You know, we weren't, we weren't locked in the first four innings. Uh, Ryan was, but uh, offensively we weren't. And we made a, you know, made a miscue defensively there. And then, you know, this team has been able to do that. I mean, we got behind 4 nothing against Illinois State. They recovered, you know, played really well the second half of the game. You know, we've played really, really well in the second half of a lot of games. Now, the problem is uh, we got to play nine innings, and we still haven't quite figured out that we got to do that against, you know, these guys tomorrow and certainly against some of the competition we have coming up. Are you surprised at all with Ryan's, um, maybe not just, just the success, but just his demeanor and poise and confidence? Oh, he's carrying himself out there. He said, "Well, you know, he's chewing up a lot of innings, and he's he said, you know, you've got to do that on Friday nights, and, and we're sitting here now with, a, you know, a low-rested bullpen for the next two days, which we needed. The thing that's the only thing that's really, really impressed me. I know he's going to do fine this year because his preparation, his hard work, is, you know, he can go 90, 95, 100 pitches, and you don't see much of a difference. You know, I bet you his velocity was pretty, pretty much consistent even at that last inning." Um, so that's because he's not a big man. So that's what's probably impressed me as much as anything is his velocity. He's been able to hold his velocity uh, for seven innings, and now into the eighth inning, um, and we, you know, we we just haven't asked our starters to do that very often in the, in the past, and, and it looks like he's able to deal with it. So that's uh, good for him and great for uh, great for the pitchers. Thank you. Thank you. I guess. Uh, just uh, on this game specifically, what, what was working on? I had a little bit of chilly, but. Yeah, it was cold, um, but once you get moving, it's fine. Um, fastball was feeling good today. I was moving the way I wanted it to. Um, Mike caught a really good game, called a really good game. So it, it was easy to pitch to him as it normally is, um, but just fastball command was probably the best thing. How long did it take you to adjust to the, like you guys, both guys got the outer half of the zone a little leeway there to do? <laughs> Did you enjoy having a little extra space yeah, to work out there? it's nice. Um, it kind of goes both ways because you if you get that, you give up another part of the zone. Sure. Um, so yeah, you kind of have to down. feel it out and figure out what you're going to get and how far you can get uh, outside, in this case tonight. But it's, it's a win and lose because you lose tonight the inner half of the plate. Right. But you get a little more on the outside, so it was good. Ryan, in, in the fourth inning, you got down 3-0, um, and it looked like maybe you lost a little bit, and then you came back two straight strikes, and you got him, you struck him out swinging. Yeah. I mean, what, what were you kind of feeling in that? I mean, what was your mindset after you got down 3-0? Um, 3-0, kind of the thing we preach as a pitching staff of make them earn, earn it, so if they're going to get on first, make them get a hit, don't give them any free bases. So it, it was just one pitch at a time, throw the first one, throw the second one, and then go at him and see what he can do with it. So kind of just attacking attacking the zone, which should have done from the start. But they, it's, Oh, I was yeah. going to ask you, they, they scored in the, in the fourth, and then you guys, that fourth and fifth inning, had chances but didn't get it. It kind of felt like their dugout was kind of a little bit lively. In, that, in those moments, how important is it as a pitcher to kind of keep throwing up the zeros and try to at least keep some momentum on your side to allow your offense to kind of get in gear again? Yeah, I mean, well, that's what we're trying to do as a staff is keep us in games, um, and with, especially with our offense, what, we, what we're capable of um, is basically just a waiting game of if we can put up enough zeros, our offense is going to score two, three, four, five runs, and chances are we'll win the game.